Hey there guys, today we're talking about intentional playground design. Designing a playground with intention is like telling a story. Each element, from the layout to the color scheme, is chosen for a reason. It's not just about looking good, it's about resonating with the people who you use it. A great playground can reflect the local culture, history, or even the future aspirations of a community. Imagine a playground that tells the story of the area, its heritage, or is designed to inspire the community. Inclusion is a big deal in these designs. We're talking about spaces where kids of all abilities can play together. It's not just about having ramps or accessible equipment. It's about creating an environment where everyone feels welcome and integrated. Age-appropriate design, it's another key aspect. Little ones need safe and stimulating areas, where older ones might want something more adventurous. It's about creating a range of experience that cater to different stages of the childhood. It's important to know what you want to achieve in your design to make the best choices, because every part of these playgrounds will serve a purpose. It's about building something that's not just fun, but also beneficial. Maybe it's about encouraging physical fitness, or perhaps it's about nurturing social skills. There are many benefits when designing a playground with a true intention. For example, community outcomes. These playgrounds can become a focal point for the community, a place where people can come together and connect with the space. Reflecting community voice. Consulting the community is a key aspect of playground design, ensuring the space truly belongs to the community. Maximizing play value. With diverse experiences tailored to different needs, these playgrounds will ensure that every visit is an enriching moment for all the users in it. There you have it. Building a playground with true purpose and intention is not only beneficial with your budget, but also serves as a hub for the community. Thanks for watching.